right, my babbers. So we're in the car. We're just a few minutes away from the venue we're fishing today. Uh, the wind is absolutely hacking um, to the point where we have come across some proper wrong turn shit. Uh, and we've got a tree in the road in front of us. So bear with me. I'm going to get out and uh, put what muscles I've got to some good use. So hopefully we'll uh, get this tree out of the way. I say tree, it's just a big branch really. Uh, being a bit dramatic. Uh, we'll get this out of the way and we'll get down to the venue uh, and get fishing. Hopefully get some fish for you guys. Happy days. Here you come. Oh, you're not going. Can't let a little tree stop us fishing, guys. Right, let's get to this venue. Right, my babbers, so here we are, having successfully navigated the fallen tree. We, uh, we are at the venue, Grange Springs in Chepstow. Uh, got two rods in the water, got base camp set up. It's still a little bit untidy, so I'll show you around that in a bit. Um, I'm gonna go through all the uh, rigs and bits that I'm using today. Um, so yeah, we've got pretty much the bottom half of the specimen lake all to ourselves. Um, there's probably enough room for seven anglers down here, there's four of us. Uh, ideally we would have been at the other end, there's an island at the other end. Um, so here you've, it's either open water or margins. Um, I've yet to have a a proper feel around and see what the bottom's like but uh, I should do that in a bit I just wanted to get just a couple of rods on the dance floor and uh, get cooking so the winds died down a little bit uh, it's gonna be on and off quite gusty all day um, we're here to Sunday uh, air pressure's low at the minute it's below a thousand I think 990 uh, southwesterly wind when it does blow so yeah, keep keep uh, keep tuned. We'll see what uh, see what we can winkle out for you. Happy days. There we go guys, first fish of the session. This one was taken on a pineapple tiger's bottom bait. Uh, it's just next to a snag that I've been fishing on a uh, straightforward bottom bait rig. Um, I'm slipping back, I'm not gonna bother weighing him. He's, he's definitely a, a double I reckon. Uh, so I'm gonna slip him back, get the rig back, 
and uh, see if we can't get another one. Happy days. Red button. Yeah, please make me. Right, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. I've uh, just let it come tearing out the bivvy because my right hand rod, which was placed just down to my right hand, well, I say down. I'll show you in a minute, actually. Let's get this fish in and uh, I'll show you the spots of fishing after. Tell you what, they got some fight in them. Looks like a little mirror. Yep. There we go guys, I will uh, whew, see you at the cradle. Happy days. There we go guys, fish number two. Not massive, but I'd say that's an absolute peach. They don't have to be big when they look like that. So uh, I'm going to slip this one back, get the rig out. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting another bite this side of daylight so I'm gonna get this rig back and uh, see if we can nick another one. Happy days! That is a nice looking fish, very nice. There we are guys, Dylan's first fish of the session on a rod that he'd cast out within well three minutes before it went off. Yeah, exactly. It's a strange bite, so sort of bobbin came up, dropped a little bit, almost looked like a bream bite and then all of a sudden the clutch kicked in and it started started to pull a little bit so so yeah cracking fight cracking fish we'll slip it back happy days let's see if we can get another one Well, there we go guys, fish number three came totally out of the blue from the uh, snag that I was fishing by the tree. Um, like I said, I'll go through those spots with you in a bit. But yeah, I'm not going to weigh them, just going to slip them back and get the rod sorted and see if we can't nick another quick bite. And there you go, I'm happy. The, the others aren't, but I am. Happy days! Thank you. 
Morning my bummers. So update time. It is Saturday morning. Um nothing throughout the night. Well, say nothing. I had one one run which ended up turning out to be a massive disaster. Fish kited right to my left, straight from my uncle's rods. Uh and ended up losing with the fish and in a massive tangle with with Rob's rods and it took him a fair while to sort him out. So, other than that, nothing. It's a bit of a frustrating night, but a good night's sleep, which is amazing considering how windy it is and how absolutely dodgy the. Uh, I'll show you the tree. So, my bivy is. There, right under that absolute widow maker. So, to be honest, I'm just glad I survived the night. Um, I think the rest of the weekend is going to be hard fishing, to be honest. So, I will keep you updated and we'll see how we get on. Happy days. Right guys, while I've got a uh, rod out of the water, I thought I'd just show you um, the very basic setup that I'm using. So we've got about around two foot of uh, rig tubing in camo down to a leg clip system. And I'm just using one and a half ounce lead. I'd normally use the heaviest lead I'd get away with. Um, but I'm... I'm not having a cast mile, so I don't want to be causing too much disturbance. So I've gone for a lighter lead setup than I would normally use. And that's down to just some of the Carpet Bank UK green coated braid. Down to a size 6 curve shank with one of the D rig kickers. How well you can see that with a D rig kicker, and then just a pineapple tiger <coughs> uh, dumbbell wafter. So, on the other rod, the exact same leg clip arrangement, um, and that is just a standard hair rig. Um, again, all components of my end tackle are from Clark's Bank UK and all the bait I've been using on the session is from Bait Solutions so if you haven't already make sure you check them out guys it's uh, good quality gear with no none of the uh, crappy carp tax so I'm gonna get this rod back out see if we can't winkle out another fish for you guys I'm not holding out any hope though. It's been hard fishing. So yeah, that's where we are. That's what we're using. That's what we're trying to achieve. Right my babbers, it's Sunday morning. Uh, still no fish. So, I saw some fish crashing on my far margin. So rather than reel a rod in, cast it over, I've just reeled a rod in, grabbed a bucket, a net, and a few bits and bobs, and I've come round, and I've now sat round on my far margin, just seeing if I can't winkle a last fish before we have to go. Um, it's been uh, the last sort of 24 to 36 hours have been really difficult to be fair. Um, the weather has been on and off, uh, gusting it sort of 40, 50 mile an hour. Uh, rain every five minutes for five minutes, then it stops for five minutes, then it comes back for five minutes, then it rains for five minutes and it stops. Um, pretty much constant. So, weather wise, I'm 
you know, fish like consistency. The whole lake's fishing quite difficult. So I spoke to other anglers and they've said that, you know, they're all struggling. So at least it's not just something that we're doing down this end. Um, so yeah, hopefully he can uh, wink one out before we go. That's the plan anyway. Fingers crossed. Take it steady. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, I'm going to take a little wander through. See how everyone else is getting on. Um, I mean technically I already know. No one else has caught anything as of yet. So since Friday that will be four carp and a tench between four of us. Um, it's not the best session, but a new lake, so it's nice to have caught. So yeah, I don't see you again in a minute. Probably see you in the car on my way home with no more fish. Happy days. There you go, guys. After waiting 48 hours, Pops has finally caught a fish. Nice little tench. <laughs> so that's, that's our Rob's input. I think we can we can live without that. <laughs> Cheers. Go on, slip it back there. There we go, guys. Can you, oh, can you just check, make sure I'm in the frame? Yeah, 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 yeah. Magic. There you go, guys. Fish number four. Uh, absolutely tore off. Literally just as we're uh, we just starting to pack down yeah. all our gear and get ready to go home. So uh, it's been a struggle to the, uh, this session, but it's been fun. And uh, if that's the last fish for me, then I'm happy. Happy days.